You know, every trials video we make, I end it by saying this is the last time we're making a trials video. And here we are again. The hell, fellas? Why does this keep happening? Now, trials came back last season and season of the worthy. Pretty much the entirety of last season was centered around trials and its return. And the build up to this has been going on for quite some time. I mean, Saint 14 was literally resurrected and brought back to bring us trials. Now, before some lore wizard jumps up and say, no, he actually just jumped through time. Whatever, man. Either way, there was a build up to trials and then trials came back and then everyone got to experience trials in all of its glory which was a lot of uh yeah some people said it was half-baked some people say raw whatever you want to call it we made an entire video talking about trials loot incentives cheaters on top of things that bungie needs to do to make the trials experience more desirable and a beautiful way to make trials more desirable is you know give people loot now bungie has actually done a few changes this past season most notably they gave we weekly bounties, one of which actually drops a trials ingram. This ingram will give you the three win reward, not a god roll, just a random roll, and you only get one. Today, fellas, I'm going to talk about these changes because there's been some other changes too with the token system, what's occurred from season of the worthy to season of arrivals, how these changes are good, how they're bad, and how the rich inside of trials just keep getting richer. So first up, let's talk about that ingram. We mentioned it last season that Bungie needed to bring back bounties. They needed to bring back silver and gold tier bounties from destiny one put them inside of destiny two so that joe blow who is participating inside of trials will still have a chance to get something and i mentioned it in the past video when we talked about trials that even way back when myself i was struggling to get flawless and it was because one of these gold tier bounties that I was able to obtain a Doctor in the Passing, which was the Holy Grail of auto rifles back then. And upon doing so, this weapon gave me a fighting chance up against other players who already had Doctor in the Passing and eventually got me to Flawless, where there would be an adept version of that same weapon waiting for us. Now, adept weapons were another take on trial weapons. They were the flawless version of the weapon. They had an intrinsic perk. They had a different look. They were obviously more sought after, hence the reason why everyone week in and week in out would punch themselves in the dick to try to get themselves to the lighthouse so bounties made sense right and we asked for it last season and bungie has provided it except with a twist bungie provided bounties but it only rewards you the three win reward for that week and it's not repeatable that's what blows my mind so not only do you have the constraint of oh yeah this week the three win reward is the rocket launcher because everybody's just trying to kill themselves to get the rocket launcher now it's not even repeatable so you can't even farm the these bounties to possibly even get a decent roll. What you get is what you get. And that's mind blowing to me. Now you still got your three win, your five win and your seven win rewards. This week, scout rifle is the three win, five wins are gauntlets, seven wins is the rocket launcher. And of course, flawless is a class item on top of getting some upgrade materials as you're doing the passage. But I will say, the upgrade materials, my lord, Bungie, y'all are being so stingy on this. I think the most I've seen after a game is two enhancement prisms after my seven win game. Outside of that, three and five wins, you may get a single core. A single core. One enhancement core. That's it. At this rate, it'll take us approximately half a year or more to completely upgrade a piece of armor or even masterwork a full weapon. It's kind of crazy that Bungie is being as stingy as they are being when it comes to rewards, most notably upgrade materials. And we're going to talk about that more in our sunset video tomorrow because we've got a lot to say about sunsetting today is more focused on trials and what's changed another change that's occurred is you don't get tokens in the same way that you got last season so i want to say you don't get any tokens for losing and you only get one token per win but at games three five and seven you get substantially more tokens this is obviously more rewarding to players that win the game the hell with all the players that can't win tough luck man on top of that depending on your passage you can actually buy the passage that rewards you more tokens for each one of these wins and it just rains tokens i hardly play trials like i play trials on friday and that's about it and every weekend i end with almost three to four hundred tokens and i'm not even trying now bungie's way of making up for this is they've got bounties bounties give you tokens as well even the repeatable bounties give you two tokens apiece but even then it is a slow grind a grind that if you're losing games becomes more meaningless as it goes on which is why you see more and more people not playing trials right now i gotta just say this up front if you you play on pc and you're just a normal average player which nothing 
nothing against you, man, and you got normal average friends, I don't think you're ever going to see the lighthouse. I know that sounds terrible. And I've normally been optimistic in the past. I'm like, hey, man, no, try this strategy, work this way, try this new loadout, and maybe you'll get it. But I'm PC, and I'm not even talking about cheaters, although they do mess up trial runs. I'm just talking about the general sweat of the playlist has resulted in me having to not just run stacked, but run super stacked. I'm running so stacked, I even got a guy in my team named Stacks. It's that level of sweat that you have to bring in there just to get through a trials car. It's insane how sweaty this playlist has gotten. And I like competitive environments. I do, and I enjoy playing. I just can't understand how normal players are ever supposed to get through this. And I know some people are like, that's the way pinnacle activities are supposed to be like. But there's a difference here, okay? Raids, nightfalls, grandmaster content. There's certain things you can do. Certain static elements that you can continually keep strategizing around to eventually get through that encounter multiplayer experiences and most notably pinnacle multiplayer experiences does not have that same static atmosphere what you run into one game will be completely different the next game now there's also an allure to that right obviously there's an attraction an addiction something that occurs when you play that it's it's why i love rainbow right now you get hit with unexpected stuff and for some reason it's just like an adrenaline rush you want to get hit with that again you want to try the counter that next time and then you get hit with something else unexpected and that's essentially what the allure is for me in pvp games guys I just like to be surprised. PvP normally offers that. But the level of shenanigans and surprises that occurs inside of Trials has completely dwarfed players or normal players' ability to combat it. You just can't. Some teams you run up against, whether they are cheaters or recoveries or just super stacked teams, you may beat them. But can you beat that same team, that same level of team, seven games in a row? That's the issue. You may get one, maybe two games in an entire card that are somewhat easy, but even the easy ones to most players will be hard and then after that it's on baby who knows what we're about to run up against but we know it's going to be sweaty unfortunately about all of this the only people that went out are just really really good players players that are already very much rich when it comes to trials tokens trials rewards trials armor everything trials related it showers on them weekend after weekend and currently right now with the changes to the token system especially the rich are just getting richer i got more tokens now than ever before and if i want more tokens it's easy all i gotta do is just win all you gotta do is win but what bungie doesn't understand that's a difficult thing to do for the casual player and not giving at least a repeatable bounty for trials weapons and armor and on top of that locking it to the three win reward of that week what the hell is that you know what's so crazy about all of this is the formula we're proposing is not us rethinking the wheel here this is destiny one's formula that we're proposing when we say gold and silver bounties we're referring to d1's loot system which trials so just to make things simple bungie just needs to introduce two different bounties one gives you a weapon one gives you a piece of armor this will be your weekly bounties and they are not tied to the three win reward now something else i want us to bring up is post game rewards and this is something that everyone's a little torn on you got one side of the spectrum saying no trials loot needs to be exclusive you need to get at least three wins to even get access to it then you got another side that says they're never going to get three wins let me talk about what i think should be exclusive exclusive first. Adept weapons should 100% be the most exclusive reward from the flawless chest. You want a weapon that has an intrinsic perk or maybe an intrinsic mod. I know Bungie said they're working on it. Won't be coming to us this season, but possibly next season. Adept weapons to me is where all the exclusiveness needs to come in at. As in like an adept version of summoner. Hell no, you can't just hand that thing out. That does need to be locked to flawless, but a basic summoner, one of which has many different traits and roles on it. So it's not like you're going to get a god roll every single time it drops, I think should definitely just fall into post-game rewards. Now we have post-game rewards, but it's only for winning games three, five, and seven. The post-game rewards I'm speaking about are just your basic post-game rewards. Something that drops on you, whether you win or lose, it's completely RNG based. Boom. Here's a weapon. If the RNG gods bless you, you get a good one. Now the system to me only works if we have adept weapons, because you still got to keep that same desire to go flawless. I mean, obviously that's the end goal. And I feel like post-game rewards can be anything. It can be either Summoner or what's currently being rewarded for that season, or we can even start incorporating Trials of the Non-Weapons. How much would you play Trials every single weekend 
if you could potentially get a god roll sudden death or an adjudicator. Hell, in this sandbox, 600 round per minute and auto rifles are pretty much king. What if you could get a god roll last breath as a post game reward or a god roll darkest before? There is a slew of old weapons from year one that with the right random rolls would absolutely wreck in this sandbox. Relentless, another high impact pulse rifle. It's got a decent static roll, but wouldn't it be nice to have that same static roll with an extra trait and on top of that, give it a masterwork as well as a mod slot? This just seems like a no brainer. And Jay even brought this up to me. Overnight, you would see so many people playing trials if they could just potentially get one of these weapons as a post game reward. What I'm concerned about here is that Bungie's not really thinking of making new trial weapons. They're thinking about taking all the weapons that we just mentioned right here, right now, and are just looking to reissue them back as trials loot. I said it the other day when we talked about Forward Path and Iron Banner that I was super excited about that auto rifle, but that's Iron Banner to me. I'm not that big on Iron Banner. Like, I like it. I get it. I mainly just do it because it's a good pinnacle source. I'm okay with reissuing inside of Iron Banner. I'm not okay with reissuing inside of Trials. I'm also not okay that essentially for another season, we're still having the same rewards inside of Trials. Nothing else. Nothing new. There was no new loot added this past season. What the hell's up with that? This is not a playlist in which we should be stingy when it comes to loot here from all facets, whether it's coming from material whether it's gold and silver tier bounties, whether it's just post-game rewards of old trials loot that we once had, but with random rolls, that's the way it should be reissued to us, not reissued as new seasonal loot. This is loot we've already obtained. Random rolls for it should already be dropping right here, right now. Guys, the trials player base would erupt overnight if you had this, especially as post-game rewards. And again, the exclusiveness to all of this is a depth version of these seasonal weapons that's the difference i'm not gonna be mad at all whatsoever if you get a random rolled summoner or a randomly rolled darkest before i'm not gonna get upset about that why because i'm shooting for the adept version of those weapons that's what i'm going after so there is some benefit of the doubt here that i'm giving bungie because they've already said they're working on adept versions of these weapons but they haven't actually gotten it all together yet and that's something that may not come until season 12 if even then to me that's a necessity here though and it's the only thing that is going to make this entire system work together. You see, you can't have one without the other. You can't give out a bunch of loot and simultaneously destroy all incentive to go flawless. We saw this happen and play out last season when people were token farming. Also, simultaneously, you can't just not give anyone anything. You can't just deplete them completely and not allow folks to have a fighting chance in a sweaty playlist that is only getting sweatier every single weekend. So guys, that is our thoughts on trials. Look, I like the game mode. I really do. Even with the occasional cheat I still like it. Everything that we're mentioning is like stuff behind the scenes, loot incentives especially. I still want an anti-cheat. I still want some of that to work better. And there are gates in place right now that are keeping people from going directly into trials, which is great. One of them being actual power level. The other being you have to complete a quest and completely rank up your valor, right? Is that right? You can't even play trials without completely ranking up your valor. These are the type of gates that when players do get banned, it's going to take them a long time to get a burn account ready to jump right back into the trials playlist. Not saying there's not cheaters there. Obviously, we still have a cheater problem. But understand, anti-cheat is multifaceted. You can't just go in there and go, this is the wall, this is the anti-cheat, and nothing gets past it. No, there's got to be a lot of stuff at play. Having certain gates, things like two-step verification inside of COD and Warzone, there's many layers to an anti-cheat, and you need all of them. You need as many of them as you can get. Currently right now, though, to me, what's hurting the Trials playlist more than anything, even outside of cheaters, is just the fact that there's just not enough loot in there for people people to justify suffering through the playlist. Bungie's got to do more here. Also, what they cannot do is continually reissue old Trials weapons as new Trial weapons. Trials of the Nine was not that long ago, and I do not want to see Trials of the Nine weapons being reissued as new Trial weapons whatsoever. They need to have random rolls slapped on them in combination with whatever new loot that Bungie's bringing about and allow for Trials loot to just overflow for folks. That's how you're going to get people to play in this playlist on top of making flawless rewards super desirable amongst other things like upgrade materials so guys those are our thoughts on trials let me know in the comments below what you think fellas and ladies thank you all for coming and watching and as always slap that like button like your mama told you right